welcome to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. I'm back again today with my buddy, Karen. Hi. The hy dietitian here at your Manhattan hy -Vee. And we are going to show you something that is going to totally revolutionize not only your Easter time when you have to make right. hard-cooked eggs of hard for the kids, things. lots and lots, um, but something that is just super simple to do. Right. And it's just a wonderful technique. And it's awesome because eggs are a great snack food. So mm -hmm. if you do hard-boiled eggs ahead, and then you have them in your in right. your refrigerator. It's a great snack food. It's something simple to grab for a meal for breakfast. Yep. I love eggs. We used to eggs really <laughs> used to get a bad rap. Yeah, because it all we all just talked about the cholesterol in eggs. While there is cholesterol in an egg, mm -hmm. it's really a great nutritional product because of the protein in that egg. Right. The white is only 20 calories. The albumin of the egg is called the white. 20 calories, pure protein. All right. All right. The yolk is where you'll find some of the fat in the egg. Mm -hmm. But so that's why I like to see it used on salads, used in, as snacks. Just right. people like to eat a hard boiled egg with a little pepper on it, whatever. Or the, you know what? uh -huh. the cowboy breakfast bites yes. that we made recently right, right. here. Mm -hmm. um, hard boiled eggs for and that. They, and they were wonderful in that dish. So. Right. And um, the other thing I like to tell people is eggs are a very high source of vitamin D. And vitamin okay. D is a deficiency that we think probably close to 80% of Americans are deficient in vitamin D. Wow. So, see, you really so, do need to know yes. how to do this to have Absolutely. hard boiled eggs at it's, home. It adds to your health. Our oven is preheated 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And what we've done is we've taken just our mini muffin tin. If you don't have a mini muffin tin, you can do this with just a regular muffin tin. But I think it's nice to use the mini because it holds your eggs more in a vertical position. Uh -huh. So, we're just going to take our eggs and we've got the oven preheated. Like I said, Karen, can you open that for me? Center rack. There they go. And we are just going to cook those for about 25 to 30 minutes um, and they will be hard cooked. When they come back out of the oven though, we're going to show you the next step which is key to this recipe and it's the fun part. All right, our, our timer has gone off in the oven so it's time to get our hard cooked right. eggs out. Right. So here we go. All right. Wow. So I'm going to set them here on our cutting board. All right. What's the first thing you obviously notice, Karen? They're spotted. They're spotted now. <laughs> and I can't tell you the science behind that, why that happens in the oven, but don't be concerned. Karen's going to take her tongs, and we're just going to submerge our eggs immediately into a nice ice bath. Um, and what this is going to do is going to cool our eggs down really quickly. And also what's nice for that, which I will show you here in just a little bit after those cool slightly, it's a great way to just peel your eggs right in that water. If this is a slick trick. I happened upon this last year at Easter time. And I tell you what, there's no going back because sometimes when you boil eggs um, on the stovetop, you're kind of guessing, all right, um, is it have done? they, is have it they boiled? Yeah. Right. So this just eliminates that and it's just a just kind of a wonderful way to do a bunch of hard boiled eggs all at one time. Great. All right, we've got our eggs all submerged great. in our ice water. Right. You did a great Cooling job down. here. Mm -hmm. Cooling down. And so what we're gonna do at this point is we are just gonna do this is the fun part where the eggs um, look how the, the oh, peeling, wow. yeah, and sometimes you'll see that like that little brown spot, but uh -huh. it'll just, if you see something on your um, egg white that's brown, you can just submerge it and that will just rub right off. But the neat thing is you can tap this on the bottom and just press and that shell will just come Beautiful. flying off of that egg. It's just a really nice. cool, isn't that neat? That's really neat. I need to be excited. I'm excited. This will, see those this little will spots? make Easter much easier. Yeah. You can just rub and those will just come right off. So, yeah. Good. All right, wonderful. Awesome. Remember this when Easter comes because you're yes. going to need it or when you want breakfast on the go. But please come back and visit us. Right. Watch us here in the um, kitchen, Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen, because we've got kitchen tips, cooking videos, and of course, Karen Nutrition. always has health and wellness. <laughs> and watch for us in the Kansas Farm Bureau's membership magazine, Kansas Living. I'm Chef Allie, and remember, now, now you're, you're cooking. cooking.